This is the TV44 High School Whiz Quiz with your host, Nancy Moeller. Hi everyone and welcome to TV44's High School Whiz Quiz Fall Season of 2019. I'm your host, Dancy Moeller. Well, we have four high schools ready to take the stage tonight. Our first game, you're going to see Bluffton take on Coldwater. And a little bit later, Shawnee will face off against Bell Fountain. We want to introduce you to our players joining us from Bluffton High School today. We have Patrick Estelle, Anna Neufeld-Weaver, Julia Smallcomb and Hunter Augsburger. And Bluffton is coached by Bridget Hoff. Welcome to all of you. All right, turning now to Coldwater. Playing for Coldwater is Natalie Langenkamp, Thomas Pax, Matt Waite, and Kendrick Tebby. Coldwater is coached by Matt Lange. Welcome to all of you as well. Okay, our first round, we have 10 questions for you with 10 points apiece. Want to make sure you get those buzzers ready. Take a deep breath. But when you answer, make sure you speak up, okay? Because we do have our judge with us, Mark Dickman. If we have any questions at all about the answers you give us, we will refer to him. All right, so we want to make sure that those answers are as complete as possible as well. All right, here we go. Question number one in your game. What is the distance around the edge of a circle called? Yes, that would be Bluffton. The circumference? Circumference is correct. Number two, which term designates one or more letters added to the end of a word to change its meaning? Yes, Bluffton. The suffix? Suffix is the answer. Name the Olympic event that combines cross-country skiing and rifle shooting. Yes, cold water. Biathlon. Biathlon is correct. All right, number four. At which battle fought by General Custer was the cavalry horse Comanche the only known survivor? Yes, Bluffton. Sitting Bull. That is incorrect. Coldwater, you've got a chance with this question. No? All right, the answer is the Battle of the Little Bighorn. All right, question number five in this first round. Identify the chain of huge underground caves in southeastern New Mexico. Time is up, teams. The answer is the Carlsbad ca Caverns. All right, number six. What is the capital of Thailand? Yes, that would be Coldwater. Bangkok. Bangkok is the answer. All right, moving on now to question number seven. Identify the titan of Greek mythology whose power held the sky on his shoulders. Yes, Bluffton. Uranus. That is incorrect. Cold water, you want to try? Atlas. Atlas is the answer there. All right, question number eight in this first round. What insect did John the Baptist eat in the desert? Yes, Bluffton. Locust. Locust is correct. All right, number nine. Name the treaty signed by Britain and the United States in 1783. Yes, that would be Bluffton. Paris. Could you expand? The Paris Treaty. Yep, we will accept that, the Treaty of Paris. And your final question in this first round. What animal represents a sign of hope for the stock market? Yes, Bluffton. Bull. I'm sorry? A bull. A bull is the correct answer. All right, we've come to the end of our first round between Bluffton and Coldwater High Schools. Here is the score. Coldwater, you have 30 points, and Bluffton, you have 50. So we'll be back with rounds two and three right after the break. Stay right there.
Tonight's Wiz Quiz contests are brought to you by Kewpie Hamburgers, the taste of Lima since 1928, and by the Tom All family of dealerships, Chrysler, Buick, Dodge, and Hyundai, the home of the knock your socks off deal. All right, we have Coldwater and Bluffton playing right now. We are moving into our second round. Here is the score. Coldwater has 30 points. Bluffton with 50. That means Bluffton, you're going to lead the second round. You're going to have five questions that are all your own, but we still want to make sure that you buzz in with your answers, okay? They are worth five points apiece. What type of joint in the human body allows a person to move his arm in a circle? Yes. Ball and socket. Ball and socket is correct. Identify the sea god who causes a storm that wrecks Odysseus's raft. Poseidon. Yes. Poseidon. Poseidon is correct. Question number three in the second round. How many points are scored for a touchdown in American football? Six or seven. Yes. Six points. Six points is the answer. All right, what is the family name of JFK? Yes. The Kennedys. Kennedy is correct. And your final question in the second round. In what year did the United States declare war on Mexico? Yes. 1856. That is incorrect. It's 1846. Oh. Yes. All right. Turning now to cold water. Everybody said over here. Again, make sure you buzz in with your answers, okay? Which federal agency coordinates disaster relief? Yes. Coast Guard. Coast Guard is incorrect. It is FEMA, which is also known as the Federal Emergency Management Agency. All right. Number two, give the word for the practice of having two or more wives or husbands at the same time. Yes. Polygamy. Polygamy is correct. Question three, what term for first formed is given to the living matter of cells? Yes. Zygote? That is incorrect. It's protoplasm. All right, moving on to question four in the second round. Name the author of the Little House series of autobiographical books about a family's life on the frontier. Yes. Laura Ingalls Wilder. Laura Ingalls Wilder is the answer. And here's your final question in the second round. Which woodwind instrument has a penetrating, poignant sound and a four-letter name? Yes, cold water. An oboe. Oboe is the correct answer. All right. We've come to the end of our second round now. Here is the score. Coldwater, you have 45 points. Bluffton was 70. Moving on to our final round now. 10 questions worth 10 points apiece. Here we go. Question one. Which sedimentary rock beginning with the letter L is the substance of which stalactites are made? Yes, that would be cold water. Limestone. Limestone is the answer. Question two. Whose nose grew longer every time he lied? Bluffton. Pinocchio. Pinocchio is correct. Name the galaxy in which we live. Yes, that would be cold water. Milky Way. Milky Way is correct. Question number four. Which type of sentence has one independent clause and one or more dependent clauses? Yes, Bluffton. Complex. Complex is correct. Question number five in this final round. Which amendment gives the right against self-incrimination? 
Yes, Bluffton. The Fifth Amendment. The Fifth Amendment is correct. All right, moving on now to question number six. What holiday is celebrated on the fourth Thursday in November each year? Yes, cold water. Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is correct. Number seven, what is Aurora Borealis commonly known as? Yes, cold water. The Northern Lights. Northern Lights is the answer. Okay, we have three questions remaining in your game. Right now, here is the score. Bluffton, you have 100 points. Coldwater, 85. All right, question eight in this final round. What is the largest mammal in the world? Yes, Bluffton. The blue whale. Blue whale is the answer. Number nine, what is the hardest substance in the human body? Yes, cold water. Bones. That is incorrect. Bluffton, you want to try it? Yes. The teeth? The tooth is correct, or enamel. That's right. And our final question in your game. Identify the phobia that involves an unhealthy fear of spiders. Yes, that would be cold water. Arachnophobia. Arachnophobia is correct. All right. Well played game, teams. All right, we've come to the end, though, and we do have a winner. Coldwater, you have 95 points. Bluffton, you're moving on in competition with 120. Congratulations. Coldwater, thank you again for playing with us this year. And we will be back with our next game right after this break. Don't go away. Tonight's Wiz Quiz Contests are brought to you by QP Hamburgers, the taste of Lima since 1928, and by the Tom All family of dealerships, Chrysler, Buick, Dodge, and Hyundai, the home of the Knock Your Socks Off deal. Welcome back, everyone. We are moving into a new game now. We just wrapped up a really close one between Bluffton and Coldwater. Bluffton came out the winner there. And, of course, they will be moving on to take on the winner of this game now, being played between Shawnee and Bell Fountain High Schools. We want to introduce you to our players joining us from Shawnee. We have Reed Malcolm, Ryan Zhang, Colton Drexler, and Landon Schumacher. And Shawnee is coached by John Young. Welcome, gentlemen. All right, turning to Bell Fountain. Playing for Bell Fountain is Ben Sailors, Miriam Eyrick, Lily Evans, and Cheyenne Klingerman. And Bell Fountain is coached by Donna Bruner. Welcome to all of you. All right, we have two rounds to play before we go to commercial break. Our first round, 10 questions, were 10 points apiece. Get the buzzers ready. I tell each team this, and I really mean it. You gotta speak up as loudly as you can, okay? We have people at home who are watching and playing along with you, so they wanna know whether they got the answer right. And um, we also have our judge with us, so if we have any questions about your answers, we will refer to him, okay? All right, here we go. Question number one in your game. Which word completes this saying from the Beatitudes? The what shall inherit the earth? Yes, that would be Bell Fountain. Meek. Meek is correct. Question two. Which capital city is home to Tiananmen Square? Yes, Shawnee. Beijing. Beijing is the answer. Number three. In which country are the ancient pyramids located? Shawnee. Egypt. Egypt is the answer. Question number four. Who was the first man to step on the moon? Shawnee. Neil Armstrong. Neil Armstrong is correct. Question number five in this first round. What word designates a novel that is a follow-up to another? Sequel? Yes, Bell Fountain. Sequel. Sequel is correct. Number six. What word beginning with the letter P designates materials presented to the public 
to advance one particular point of view. Yes, Shawnee. Propaganda. Propaganda is the answer there. All right, number seven. Identify the 11th U.S. president. Yes, Shawnee. John Tyler. That is incorrect. So, Bell Fountain, you can try this one. Yes. Polk. Polk. Will we accept that answer? All right, you are correct. James Polk. All right, three questions remaining in this first round. Complete this proverb. March came in like a what and went out like a what? Yes, that would be Shawnee. Lion. Lion. Is that your complete answer? Yeah, March came in and make him out like a lion. Okay, we're not going to be able to take that answer, so I'm going to turn it over to Bell Fountain. Yes. Lion, dove. That is incorrect. I think you'll you both of these teams will um, recognize this. Complete the proverb. March came in like a lion and went out like a lamb. Oh. Okay. All right, name the percussion instrument that consists of a pair of thin metal plates with handles. Yes, that's Shawnee. Symbols. Symbols is the answer. And your final question in round one, who wrote Hamlet? Yes, Bell Fountain. Shakespeare. William Shakespeare. William Shakespeare is correct. All right, we've come to the end of round one. And here is our score. And it is a close one. Bell Fountain, you have 40 points. Shawnee, you have 50. That means you are going to lead the second round with five questions, all with five points apiece, but they are also all yours. Just make sure you buzz in with your answers, okay? All right, number one. Where did the ancient Olympic Games originate? Yes. Greece. Greece is correct. Where did President Lincoln state, the world will little note nor long remember what we say here, but it can never, yes, Shawnee. Gettysburg. Gettysburg is the answer. Name three of the four U.S. states on which British Columbia borders. Yes, Shawnee. Washington, Montana, and Wisconsin. That is incorrect. Washington, Idaho, Montana, Alaska. All right, question number four. Name the thick, whitish, oval-shaped column of nerve tissue that extends from the lower brain stem to the second lumbar vertebrae. Yes. The spine. Can you expand it? The spinal cord. The spinal cord is the answer we're looking for. All right. Here's your final question in the second round. Name the technique by which mystery writers drop hints to prepare the reader for what is to come. Yes. Foreshadowing. Foreshadowing is the answer. All right. Here is our score now. Shawnee, you have 70 points now. Bell Fountain, again, 40 points. You have five questions here with five points apiece. Which composer wrote God Bless America? Sousa. I'm sorry? Sousa. That is incorrect. The answer is Irving Berlin. Oh. Okay. What term names a book published annually containing calendars, weather forecasts, and sayings? Almanac. Almanac is correct. All right, make sure you buzz in, okay? Name the Mexican national holiday marking the May 5th, 1862 battle when Mexican forces defeated the French. Yes. Cinco de Mayo. Cinco de Mayo is the correct answer. Okay, you have two questions remaining. What is the name of the United States national anthem? Yes. The Star Spangled Banner. 
Yes, I'm glad you got that. All right. <laughs> Your final question in this round. Identify the southernmost U.S. state. Texas Florida. Florida is incorrect. Yes, it is Hawaii. That is right. Okay. All right. Here's our score before we take a break. Shawnee, you have 70 points. Bell Fountain with 55. We're going to take a break and we'll be back with a final round right after this. Don't go away. Tonight's Wiz Quiz contests are brought to you by QP Hamburgers, the taste of Lima since 1928, and by the Tom All family of dealerships, Chrysler, Buick, Dodge, and Hyundai, the home of the knock your socks off deal. Welcome back, everyone. We are in the middle of a great game right now being played by Bell Fountain and Shawnee High Schools. Here's the score. Bell Fountain, you have 55 points. Shawnee was 70. But this is our final round, and we do have 10 questions again. We're 10 points apiece. So is everybody ready? Get those buzzers set. Here we go. Number one, name the dome-shaped muscle that separates a mammal's chest and abdomen and helps the lungs to work by contracting and expanding. Yes, that would be bow fountain. Diaphragm. Diaphragm is correct. Name the world's largest museum, education, and research complex. Yes, Shawnee. The Smithsonian. The Smithsonian is correct. Number three. What climactic condition occurs when the temperature and the dew point are within three degrees of each other? Yes, yeah, Shawnee. Fog. Fog is the answer. Which word designates a place where stone, marble, or slate? Yes, Shawnee. A quarry. Quarry is the answer there. All right, question number five in this final round. Name the toy that is based in Denmark that consists primarily of, yes, yeah, Shawnee. Lego. Lego is the answer. Okay, our score. Bell Fountain 65, Shawnee 100. We're moving into our final five questions. Which disease did FDR contract? Yes, that would be Bell Fountain. Polio. Polio is the answer. Who invented the incandescent light bulb? Yes, that would be Shawnee. Thomas Edison. Thomas Edison is correct. All right, question number eight in this game. Helsinki is a capital of, yes, Bell Fountain. Finland. Finland is the answer. Question number nine. Which term designates organisms so small that they can be seen? Yes, Shawnee. Microbiological. That is incorrect. So, Bell Fountain, do you want me to complete the question? Yes, yes please. please. All right. Which term designates organisms so small that they can be seen only through a microscope? Yes. Microscopic. That is also incorrect. The answer we're looking for here is microorganisms. Okay. Final question in your game. Identify the famous city whose name completes the proverb, blank wasn't built in a day. Bell Fountain. Rome. Rome is the answer. All right. Everybody take a deep breath. You played really well, teams. And here is our final score. Bell Fountain, 105 points. Shawnee, 120. So congratulations, you'll be moving on in competition. Bell Fountain, really well played game. Thank you for joining us this season. We want to thank you at home for watching. We'll see you back here next week. Until then, have a great one, everyone. Bye-bye. <laughs>